So far, we've talked about the 14 verses in the Bible where God tells us that he put patterns in the Bible and that we are to search them out. Some people deny that there are patterns in the Bible. Well, God tells us there are. I mean, why would he tell us that and not put patterns in the Bible? Uh, yesterday, we did uh, 0 through 12. Today, we're going to do 13 through 20. Now, I'm going to read them from main.php, which is actually the, the original uh, landing page, and it was numbered a little bit differently. It's 18 through 25 on this page. Let me just read these eight, and they're all directly related. The Hebrew numeric value of the first and last letters of the first half of the verse are evenly divided by seven, 42. The Hebrew numeric value of the first and last letters of the last half of the verse is 91. The Hebrew numeric value of the first, middle, and last letters of the verse covered by 18 and 19 is 133, again divisible by 7. The Hebrew numeric value of the first letters of the first and last words is 7. The Hebrew numeric value of the last letters of the first and last words is 490. The Hebrew numeric value of the first and last letters of the first and last words covered by the previous two is 497. The Hebrew numeric value of the first and last letters between the first and last words is 896, again divisible by 7. The Hebrew numeric value of the first and last letters of all the words, again covered by previous two, is uh, 1,393. Now, if you click, if you're on main.php and you click on 1 in 10,000, it'll take you probability probability and k is 1, n is 1, and t is 7 to the fifth power. Um, and it, it comes out to 1 in, one in 10,000. You're going to look at it right there. Now what I did yesterday was I, I created a new web page uh, that basically takes those eight patterns and looks at a file and I, I used uh, HTTP colon slash slash www.textfiles.com slash etext slash fiction. It just lists a lot of old old books. So it's just a place to get a lot of the words. And I plug that into the, the software that I supply on what I'm, will soon be 20.php. Um, Makefull.java creates a large file out of that URL and its links. And 8.java creates the sentences that match the eight patterns for uh, what on the main landing page is 13 through 20. And you will see there on 20.php, uh, it lists all the words that meet those eight patterns. There are found uh, 141 out of 20,163,329 sentences. And all it does is it just, it takes every word and goes seven forward. So it's, it's, it's not really taking real senses, they're pseudo senses. But it's just an easy way to generate seven word pseudo senses. And that's how many are found in, in that file I gave you, the URL I gave you. Um, 24 of them matched uh, the previous patterns and one of them matched uh, the other previous pattern of the original, tw there, was, there was actually three groups. Uh, and of the three groups, uh, it met 24 of these, 24 of these 141 met the, the second group and only one met all three groups. Uh, in the, in the, in the sentence. And I'll just read it. Johnny swore a deep oath by this. Now there's nothing, <laughs> nothing significant about that at all other than it just proves that if you look in enough places you will find sentences that match some of these patterns. That word, that sentence, Johnny swore a deep oath by this, matches the first 20 patterns. And mathematically, that's exactly what you figure. You take 20 million sentences, and you're going to find something that happens one in 20 million times. It's very simple. It's just, it's just a coincidence. I just showed you this to show you that um, 
there do there are things that happen by chance, but to match all 100 patterns takes a creator. Okay, you're not going to do that by chance, but just do the math. And I supply this software, so you, you can look in any URL you want, and it'll go to all every link and create a big file, and you, you can see how many uh, match all first 20. You just, you'll be able to find more if you get enough, enough URLs. 